Hey y'all and welcome back. If you are new here today, my name is Ryan Michelle. Today's video, I have a two day declutter clean and organize with me. We got some deep cleaning going on, tons of decluttering going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Just two days of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. We'll be cleaning in the kitchen and we'll be cleaning in the boys room. So we have a lot to do today. So I hope you guys enjoy. So the kitchen was extremely cluttered and filthy. It's filthy to me. So we have a lot to do in here. I'll be deep cleaning the counters, wiping down the cabinets, doing dishes, of course, loading up the dishwasher. I had some leftovers that I wanted to get put away. And what I like to do is put them in trash bags or grocery bags and throw them in the deep freezer until trash day. But let me know what you guys are up to today while you're watching.
are new here today, welcome to my channel. I'm Ryan Michelle. I'm a military wife and a mom of three. We currently live in Germany. We will be getting ready to pack up and leave in the next year. And I'm just super excited. I really just can't believe it's been two years already. It seemed like we just packed up and moved here, but I am excited to just find out where we are going next. I can't wait to share that journey with you guys too. This has been one heck of a journey here in Germany. All of these decluttering videos I put out here, we have gotten rid of so much stuff living here and it's just been quite the journey trying to decorate this house, figure out this house. It's just been, it's been a lot. I don't really share any mental situations with you guys because I just, I just don't. But this has been one heck of a mental journey <laughs> living in Germany, but I made it. I'm almost at the finish line and I just thank God for this experience to be able to live in a different country. Every line designed to let me know So we recently got this slow cooker, not slow cooker, pressure cooker. I think that's what it's called. And Travis is usually the one to use it. And he's usually the one to clean it, but he didn't clean it this time. I was stuck cleaning it. And it was my first time ever cleaning this thing, but I think I did a good job cleaning it. But now I'm gonna clean the stove and get it nice and shiny. I'm using one of the products that I found in a German store. I tried to share it on the screen, but it was a little blurry, but you guys get the point. Pretty sure any type of stove cleaner will get the job done on a glass stove top. Let me know what you guys use on your glass stove top if you have one.
do I love a clear and clean clutter-free countertop I wish it could be like this all the time I wish we had a bigger kitchen with more counters maybe an island it's just something that I am wishing for in one of my houses future houses because I know we probably have about two more moves we think we only have one but I just have a feeling that we'll probably have two more left and I do hope to buy a home for the next move praying we get to buy a house I'm kind of over the military houses they have been good to us but i am just over not being able to do what i want to do in a house but i do enjoy the clutter-free countertops let me know where you store your appliances do you store your stuff on the countertops or do you store them in like a cabinet that's what we do like the toaster the air fryer all of that stuff goes in one of the lower cabinets he got these yellow brown eyes and the smile on his face when he tells me he wants me from the feelings I can hide when I dance and I sway with his arms tied around me and sure I mess it up a little later on but just for now
Now that everything is pretty much clean and wiped down, I'm going to sweep the floor and then I will be mopping the floor because it was pretty filthy. And then I'll be bringing like this stuff back on the countertops. Then we'll be moving on to day two.
it's been a minute since I came in the boys room and really, really, really gave it a good deep cleaning, a decluttering and just organizing everything. I think I did it like right before the summer started because it was just really difficult for me to come in their room when they were in here all summer playing and whatnot, but they were on top of their room sometimes. Like this day was a good day. Their room wasn't too bad. It was a bit messy. The floor was pretty filthy and the walls are really filthy. So I'll be doing all of that cleaning with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this cleaning. I will be decluttering a bunch of their toys, getting rid of some toys that were just really bothering me because I don't understand why we buy small toys. I don't even know where they get those little knickknacks from because they really don't sell like McDonald's toys here. Not like that. So I don't know where we accumulated all of these little bitty toys, but I got rid of the majority of the little toys. Every day, 24-7, you call my 
So the toy organizer is broken. It has been around for a minute. I swear we go through toy bins a lot. This is like the second or third one that has been broken. And yeah, sad to see it go, but we have had it for several years now, but it's still, you know, we do have another one. I just bought one and it was in the playroom. My oldest daughter did come for the summer, so we kind of set up the playroom like a guest room. So it has a bed in there now. I showed that over on my vlogging channel and then I have put the newer toy bin in there. So I'll be bringing that one in the boys room now. So I recently bought this wall cleaner and it took a minute to get used to. It was just, I don't know y'all, that's why I don't like doing stuff like this. I'd rather just give me a rag, some cleaner and just scrub and not have to buy these little fancy little things because it did give me a hard time. And I wish it had a bucket to go with it because it was a little difficult trying to fit it inside of the mop bucket, but I made it work.
see me push it over there and then I push it right back because I forgot to mop back there because it was a really dusty space so I did want to like fully mop every inch of the floors in the room I can help that I miss you now
So we are just about finished in the boys room. I'm just gonna make their beds, which I normally do not do. If you've been here for a minute, you know I just throw the comforter on here and they do what they have to do to make their own beds. I don't make the beds, so yeah. But today I chose to make their beds for them since I haven't cleaned, did deep clean their room in a very long time. So I wanted to, you know, set it up for them all nicely and they were so happy. And their room just looked really good, super spotless, super clean. I really love when their room is like this. It's actually more easier to clean with the less stuff you have. So I hope that they understand why I did declutter some of their toys because they really just don't like to clean their rooms. And it just makes it easier, you know, when they don't have that much stuff in here. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video if you did. Drop me a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. I also just decorated for fall in my living room. So definitely check that video out. I'll have the whole playlist down below. And next week I'll be bringing you guys some more decorating. So make sure your notifications are on and set to all so you don't miss it. And I will talk to y'all in the next video, whether you're watching in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening. I hope you have a good one. Bye, y'all.